Hello, great to have you with us. Welcome to the distinctive Al Bayt Stadium with its tent light structure. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's the Netherlands against Qatar. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And here's the Qatar starting 11. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. And the contest begins. Janssen. Could be doing a fine job of protecting the ball. And Dyke. Giving it a try. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. And played short. Ake. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Well, we have seen signs of an improvement by the Netherlands recently. The question is, are they in the conversation when it comes to teams who might win the World Cup? Of course, when we think of the Netherlands, we all think of that great team of the 1970s, headlined by Johan Cruyff. Well, I also covered the Dutch in 2014 when they did so well to get to the semi-finals. But since then, they've had a torrid time in competitive competitions. But they are getting better. They've got an old coach back. I think they do OK in this tournament. Good bit of pressing. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. Hatem. And credit to the Netherlands for winning the ball back. Dumfries. De Ligt. It's with Bergwijn. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. 
Homam Ahmed. Ali. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Could play it in. Now a decent position. A good and fair challenge. No way through. No foul play, says the referee. Went in strongly to win the ball. Promising looking ball. Timely intervention. Hatem. And the emphasis is on creativity. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Good pressure high up the pitch. Abdulaziz Hatem. He continues his run. And nothing for the players in the middle to work with. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward, and that needs to change. Hatem. Still passing it around with authority. Must take the lead here, and they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Frankie de Jong. Janssen has it. Not showing good vision. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. Karim Budiaf. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, managing to beat him. Options in the middle. to make sure he got there. Short corner it is. Abdel Karim Hassan. And with that, the first half draws to a close.
Well, such is the lot of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, on other days, not at all, Stuart. Yeah, he struggled to get on the ball in dangerous areas. You can argue the service hasn't been good enough, but I don't think his movement has been dynamic as it normally is. He certainly needs to improve here. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well read to put an end to that attack. Akram Afif. Homam Ahmed. Chance to do damage. It has to be! And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. In position to give them the lead, maybe. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. The pie. Okay. He might be able to carve something out. Oh, a vital interception. Stephen Bergwijn. Pressing high to win the ball. Okay. Textbook defending inside the box. And a chance for him on the flank. Oh, a fine block. And the keeper more than equal to it. So a personnel change then. So the corner played into the box. A very effective clearance. Interception to snuff out the danger. Ake. And Blint. Blint. Depay. It's with Bergwijn. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Who can he pick out? Depay? Well, no way through. Being pressed and pressed high. Homam Ahmed. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Teammates available. Depay. And closed down straight away.
A really top-notch piece of defending. Hassan. Abdulaziz Hatem. Homam Ahmed. Boudiaf. Ali. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Flag raised for offside. Substitution time it is here. Flint. And the pie on the ball. All even, but will it stay that way? Goodbye. Firing is in. Tremendous block. Memphis Depay! Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Karim Budiaf. Well, still time for them to level it. Almoez Ali. Budiaf. Could be a chance to break here. Depay. And there's the final whistle. The Netherlands have won the game. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. Well, a superb performance up to this point, Stuart, from Memphis. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.